What's up, bro? What's happening? What's going on here, Matt? Chilling, dude. Just fucking, you know. What's all this mumbo jumbo you've gotten yourself <laughs> into, dude? <laughs> you talking about my sebzi, bro? What is this? It's my sebzi. It's, Mor- it's a ceremonial hash pipe from Morocco. <laughs> it's not a big deal, dude. I've we've obviously. Dude, you seem to be making a big deal out of it. I'm not making. A, I'm just setting it out, dude. Ceremoniously, it's just. It's a nice piece, dude. I always want to show it off. You know. Well, I'll tell you something, man. I don't like it. Some of us prize fast cars, dude. It's just this is my stuff. This is what I ball out. What on. is this? The fucking high spirits, dude. Key of G minor, 432 hertz. Seat on the insignia. Rainbow moonstone with the exact ripple that 432 makes on water or sand. <laughs> I'm fly as hell, dude. You hate it. What is yeah. what is <laughs> the top there? This is this piece is called the fetish. This is what gives it its voice. So if you were to slide this thing back, it would throw off the whole sound. It has to be pr- it has to be placed in the proper place. Mm. Billy was talking some mess about my flute. On I heard you Patreon. got yours off Amazon. Not Amazon. It's from High Spirits. It's a reputable dealer. I heard dealer. it was a colonial. Dude, here's the thing. I heard it was a colonist flute. That look, <laughs> I try not to look. I don't. I try to engage in wrong speech where I harm other people in their businesses. So oh, yeah, you don't want to put down the man's business. Oh, his business. He'll, Another, his, you don't want to put down a colonizer's business. He's thriving. <laughs> yeah. They got they. The whole thing started because well, did they, they run off the real Native Americans that made those? No, not at all, dude. They're probably no. working tandem with Native artists. But Billy and I was, I was teasing him because I, yeah. I went. We all went to this place in Florida, and like, dude, I want to crush this lady. She has like a little trading post. It's, it's cool. She's a nice lady. I picked up a flute there. Mine was in the mail, so I'm like, oh, let me hear his voice. I wasn't really digging the sound, and that's all I said. Spud got one, and I was kind of like, yeah. He picked up a bad flute. It's a decorative piece. It's a beautiful piece, but it's more of a decorative piece. This that's is, what I was trying to is, tell. Him. This needs to stop. What? That's all I was this, whatever this it's, character it's, it's, is. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite. Characters. This is one of my least favorite characters. <laughs> I do. I want to do a cover. This lady has a dude. What are you, why are you doing this to me? What are you, what are you doing to what? You know you're doing this to me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Why are you doing this to me, man? I was just saying how good things were. <laughs> things are things are good. <laughs> I'm saying they're trying to say that's a colonizer flute. That's also that's a cover, by the way, by um, I believe. By <laughs> that is a. I don't want to steal credit for that tune. That, that was a cover. That's a borrowed tune. Yeah, that's a uh, Dancing Moon by Purnell. Purnell's a beautiful artist, dude. <laughs> How are you talking about I'm doing this to you And I'm glad You're doing Things this have on been purpose, great Things dude. have been great What are you talking about dude You're doing this on purpose What cop the flute Trying to sabotage our lives How <laughs> Dude I'm Getting into bullshit <laughs> What are you talking about <laughs> Dude it's a beautiful instrument man It is It's, a, it's, it's an inlet It's just a pentatonic minor scale so Can every, I hold it Yeah dude please you know, Let me Here Get the spit out Get the spit out of that Dude hold wow. that thing Wow Feel the power You're right that thing's beautiful, man. It's it's lighter than you'd think. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, that is nice, a man. beautiful piece here. The leather, it's a, dude. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I I've been genuinely worried about someone smashing this thing. Really? Between you and Brittany, I have two strong contenders for flute breakers. <laughs> Who's gonna break it? <laughs> I have, Brittany's gonna break it. She kind of likes it. I've I've, t- I've actually turned her around. She's, she's dude. Trying to trick herself into saying she likes uh, She it. was in the bathtub and I was playing downstairs. She's like, dude, I was about to fall asleep. It's, it's, you can't, it's 432 hertz, dude. Now that I can carry a tune on it. If you're in the, ba- if you're taking a bath and you hear that drone in below you, the floor below, you're just kind of like, oh man. I go on my roof deck at nighttime and just put a blanket and just fucking wail so hard on it. And dude, it's, this <laughs> can't be, you cannot be doing this. Yeah. So like no one can see where it's <laughs> coming. No one can see where it's coming from. So people are just probably walking their dog and they're like. Let me hear it again. Dude, so you're walking your dog down the street and you hear this in the distance. Just, you I, like I, the I, end. Oh, you got you got figured you. out how to do the end. <laughs> Dude, I might start getting up first thing in the morning, hitting people with one of these. Sorry, that's, that's not good. Sorry, guys. 
I have too much spit in this moisture barrier. There we go. <laughs> Early in the morning. But dude, it's nothing personal. This is just a, this is a hobby I'm into, dude. It's nice. I'm not gonna have it every single time. I wanted to show it to you. Where does it come from? What what tribes? What are we talking here? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't done my due diligence. Dude, I'm more of a musician. You know what I mean? I just I'm I'm a music guy. So it's oh, like Oh no, dude. Well, that's your dark chocolate also. <laughs> Dude, I'm more of a musician. What are you doing today? What are you talking about, dude? I'm here. It's Sunday. This is out of control. Now, what's going on with that you, pipe? You got I me out like here on a Sunday. You smoke that pipe, Patreon. I'll save that. That's You're gonna save there. drugs for the Patreon? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably have to, you know. But I, I'll need total silence. So if you guys would respect, the why? Space. Well, it's a ceremonial pipe, dude. I can't smoke it amongst chatter. I mean, I'll go outside if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> dude, how the fuck was Jamaica, dude? I haven't seen you in a while. Jamaica was crazy, man. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It, it wasn't really that crazy. It was just I got fucked up at a hotel <laughs> for five days. Who was who else was with you in terms uh, of in terms of like the like the demo at the place you're at? It was a rich people place, so it was all rich adults. I feel like when you go there, it's a lot of like Canadians. But yeah, there were Canadians. Yeah, man. When you go on vacation, it's just yeah, you. And it's, you're just in Canada in another country. Yeah, there were Canadians. British are down in Jamaica. A lot. Yeah, I could see that. And it was like a man. I love to sock it like to a, a British tourist. I would love to right punch a fucking stomach, oh, dude. Oh god, dude. People like keep asking, "Well, when you come to the UK, it's like, bro, you'll know when I come there. Yeah, and it's gonna be a there's fucking gonna be problem. A, there's gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. fucking problem when I come to the UK. Yeah. Do you think I'm gonna walk on enemy land, dude? I never forgot. I never forgot. If we if we go and do a UK tour, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a fucking problem, dude. The, the IRA might show up. They they probably will and come back. They will. It's bad. <laughs> no, to say that it's totally fine. <laughs> you're not it's totally fine. I don't know if we're allowed to say. Now that. I know why when they're like telling Muslims like, "Yo, denounce radical Islam," they're like, "Nah, no, those guys are kind of cool." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to like, "Yo, denounce those dudes, that, denounce that, the rock stars of your religion." I'd yes. be like, nah. "Denounce the dudes that risked it all to you fight the an like, empire." Yeah, do you think they're like Italians with the mafia? They're like, "Yeah, one of my uncles in a Taliban, dude." Talk definitely. shit to me. There's definitely got to be like Italians with the mob. Definitely, there's all dudes from like the Taliban. Kandahar province. So like, <laughs> dude, that's the, that's their New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> the Kandahar province. They're all like, yeah, my uncle knew Bin Laden, and he was Bin Laden's driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of smuggles funny. poppy. I I do believe that. I mean, dude, how could you let you that have go? to be if yeah. Wops in America are all like, yeah, I'm connected. Oh, dude, I've every I'm, single I'm Italian guy I've ever talked connected. to, exception of Gardini. That's because Gardini's a law dog. True, <laughs> true that. You guys have been fucking silencing them. Yeah, I play by the rules, dude. True that, Gardini. You got roughhoused a little bit last night. Roughhoused? <laughs> no, yeah. You, you, got about, you, you got tossed about. You got tossed about. You got roughhoused. What happened? Yeah, I did get. I did he he ran into a buzzsaw that was me and Billy <laughs> teaming up to bully one person. Oh, yeah. and it was. The guard dog. Sometimes you're the hammer. Sometimes you're the nail, dude. <laughs> Last true. night I was the nail. <laughs> they got you. Yeah, they got what me. What kind dude, of stuff dude. were they saying? It was just freaking. We don't uh, need to talk. Just about junk. It. Class A psyop, dude. Was it really? Yeah, I fell. <laughs> did it work or were you? It was were you a psyop that he fell right into. Yeah. Did yeah. you really? I wasn't prepared. I thought I was amongst friends, dude. He true thought that. he was amongst friends, and he uh, he wanted to show us somebody on. We asked for him to show us somebody on Instagram. Sure. I think you probably know. I'm aware. So he finally was like, all right, fine. Because we're like, dude, what the heck? First first mistake. It's not a big deal. Gave into the, you, they, they <laughs> did the friendly <laughs> angle on you. Yeah, me, <laughs> oh, dude, no. me and Billy sitting on a bench together. They're like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as he gave it, we were both like, ah. Oh, they friendly you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good man. cop, good cop. And yeah. It that does a, it was like, dude, what the fuck's your problem? Yeah, we're dude, friends. We're fucking buds. <laughs> oh, no. Uh but yeah, there's one thing about Jamaica that I didn't like. It was a it was a very very nice resort. It was a vi- like sickest place I've been. But they it's just that thing where it's like a bunch of rich white people. Yeah. And then just black workers and like yeah white gloves. Yeah, dude. And like uniforms. Yeah, they get very slavey at those places. Yeah, I'm telling they you, they do. I mean, the, the place Republic. was designed like a, I've been there. The place is designed like a plantation. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. It's yeah, they're like, Do you want a butler? It's like, no. Stop. No, I feel stop, bad. Dude. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. They even the DR they do it and they the DRs get racist on the Haitians. 
They give the Haitians like the shit fucking jobs. <laughs> You have to walk around and watch just like multi levels of fucking. Yeah, you get to watch the Hispanics <laughs> be mean to the Haitians. Yeah. But you better watch out. Every once in a while, those Haitians will get a little well, rowdy. We'll curse you too. Yeah, they'll curse you with a little Dude, voodoo. They were telling us, they were like, that's the one. There was a guy, they fucking hate them openly. So, like, these fucking, like, the guy working there would be like, these fucking Haitians, man, they've been coming over here, blah, 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 blah. And he, they, taking our derbs. Taking our goddamn derbs. <laughs> yeah. And then he basically was like, he said something like, yeah, but you got to be careful because they will hex you. So that's the only reason they respect them is because of voodoo. The, the, the looming axe <laughs> above their head, which is a voodoo curse. Yeah, I mean, you just got to keep the chickens and, like, bones away from them. If they, you see them collecting chickens and bones, you're like, yo. Dude, we're what cool. What the fuck's we're good? We're friends. Yo, I've you, been good to you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. Go weed in the shade, all right? Just fucking yeah. give me that chicken and bones. The Haitians, they're terrified. The, the Haitians will rise up. Like, I'm rooting for Haiti as a country to rise up. They've risen up. They've they got it in they them. became a country. I know. They macheted a lot of people yeah man that was a real oversight by the french what to be like there was like you know we're boys right there were like <laughs> 10 white dudes surrounded by a million slaves and they were like let's give them machetes to work the yeah, sugar cane fields true these guys are never gonna yeah they're probably like yeah we're boys right yeah we're all good like i know you can't like do a lot of the stuff you'd like to that do was scary stuff i talked to you about that because the there's a podcast on it revolutions podcast and uh it got scary yeah, dude. Those dudes, when they started rising up, they would all have messiahs, and they would all go into, like, the jungle and do, like, witchcraft with, like, blood and sacrifice and shit, and then they'd go machete everybody. Yikes. Yeah. Scary guys. That's terrifying. And then those peaceful Dominicans were just like, what the heck? What the hell? We're just trying to run an honest resort just here. Just trying to play baseball. <laughs> we're trying to play baseball. <laughs> Sammy Sosa. <laughs> we're just training our 14-year-olds to be baseball stars. Yeah, but... Uh, I've run into this before in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I went to a place that was like this. Yeah. It was very like just black dudes in like bow ties and gloves. It's not fun. They got to like, strike. How are you, sir? I'm just like, all right, man. Yeah. You all right? Are you all right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm telling you, man, I don't enjoy that whole setup and it's, it's, uh, it needs to stop. And I realized I was also part of a running theme at this resort, which was a ugly fat husband. <laughs> Like a young, hot woman. And I was like looking around like, look at these pieces of shit. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, oh, man. What the fuck happened? You're sharp, dude. You look sharp as hell. I look like fucking shit, dude. You look sharp as hell. What was it? <laughs> I'm what, having a rough time. What were the drinks? What were the drinks? You know, a pwn up on. Some light beer? <laughs> no. They, well, they, I did have some red stripe lights. Yeah, but I then see. one day I decided. The rum. Me and my boy, Nikoi. Well, I shouldn't call him that. I apologize. Uh, me and my friend. Yeah. He was. That's your boy. That's your homie. Well, chill. What the hell? Bro, I just came from a slave place. True. You can't call him that. Dude, what do you, I think it, they should just like, everyone who works there should be dressed like the Baja man. And just be in full that would be much vibe. more fun. Full vibe mode. It's like, it would be who that? Every time you walk yes. out, you're just like, fuck yeah, dude. They, they are in vibe mode. They have to be nice to you. Really? It's definitely part of their job. They all wave to you and say hello. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah, that's all. Like, that's everywhere all. you're going, they're like, hello, how are you? Like, while they're doing fucking yard work, yeah. they stop to be like, hey, they hit how's you with it the wagwan, or is it kind of like. Sometimes the chill ones will hit you with like. Wagwan. Yeah. Nice. That makes me feel cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving thumbs up a lot. That's actually kind of chill. Go. I'm down with that. <laughs> fucking. Some dude, like, hacking like a bush. He's like, <laughs> how's your stay? I'm like, <laughs> I'm just going to get fucked up in a pool. You're like bro. George W, dude. He's fucking. Get you're coming off the plane. He's fucking. Uh, one day, got a little rowdy, mm -hmm. uh, and decided to ask the Jamaican guy what he likes, which was Guinness and Red Bull mixed. You were drinking rum and Red Bull, dude. Guinness and Red Bull. What the fuck, dude? Red Bull stronger than Guinness. And I was like blacked out, and I was like, "This is actually delicious. I'll have three of these." Threw up. Threw up. <laughs> threw up. He drinks media. Guinness and Red Bull? He, he hexed me. It's true. That was a Jamaican hex. He was like, this is what we all drink. And he was just like, here's two pieces of shit drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I had like three Red Bulls. I was so sick. Three dude. Guinness and Red Bulls? Yeah. That can't be a and thing. And he drank Ting and rum, dude. Ting is fucking ting nice. Ting is good. That's a grape. Isn't that like the grapefruit juice? Yeah. Rum and Ting is nice. Rum and Ting is good, but rum is a lot. Yeah. Drinking rum's tough. Yeah, that was my choice. That was my drink of choice. It, in college, we all used to drink. Yeah. You get like Admiral Nelson's. Yeah. Just garbage. But down there, they have like good rum. Mm -hmm. But. I, dude, Captain Morgan was the top of the pier for me. Yeah. I would try Sailor Jerry's and I'd be like, yeah, nothing was bad. as delicious as Captain Morgan. 
It's just vanilla extract. He got me one day. Nikoi. He got you again. He got me and my lady. Was this your point, man? There was a pool that had a bar in it. That was the one we okay. went to. Okay, so your your boys, you had the wet yes. bar. Yes. Fuck, I love that, dude. Just, yeah, just that's worth. That's just worth. Sit there and piss, get sunburned, just like. <laughs> I'm telling you what, it's kind of worth all of the horrible historic overtones of the <laughs> place. Is, really the owners like shittily swim up to a stool and pee and drink like a watered down pina colada. <laughs> it's the best. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. We needed to do all that to get to there, to where someone going to swim. <laughs> we do need to thank our forefathers for all that they did to allow us fat whites to, to just, just be in a pool. <laughs> I'm like, that's enough sun for the day. I'm going back <laughs> yeah, to my going quarters. Back to my cabana. <laughs> what is this? Sushi? Mm, very nice. I. Uh, <laughs> so we were drinking, and he was like, the rum here is very good. You got to try the rum. Yeah. And then he poured five shots of rum. What? He was like, yeah, try this one. Taste this one. Try this one. Taste it. And I was just like, dude. What? Yeah, that was at like t- two in the afternoon. What was good with the spliffs? It was a rough day. That is a rough day. That was a bad day. What was good with the spliffs? I didn't smoke any pot. The weed down there is everyone thinks it's awesome. It's it's from what I've seen, what I've heard of down there, I should say. I've never been. It's been not the best. Really? Yeah, dude. I mean, not the best in terms of people who are spoiled to like. Yeah, I think American weed's probably pretty good. It is. It's all. It's yeah. also pretty. I've been trying to fight against the designer aspect of weed. Dude, I wanted to do a dispensary recently, and they're like, "This stuff's like thirty-seven." Per-. I'm like, "How is this third? This is crazy." Yeah, why would it be? It's too high, dude. Yeah, it's it's being amped up. Everyone it's like those mushrooms. That was some strong genetics. Like those hellish mushrooms. Those hellish mushrooms. Did you ever munch any of those? No, dude. Oh yeah, they got lost. <laughs> they got lost in the I sauce. They got lost in the sauce. I ratted you out on one of those on uh, O'Connor's podcast. Fair enough. It's so funny. I put it. I hit them in a box of crackers. It's a safe place to fly with mushrooms. By the way, you put them in crackers. It's like they look just like them, as far as you know, the eye in the sky, you know. And uh, you know, let's just say we have little four-legged friends that sometimes get into things, dude. That's all I'll say about that. That's all we can say. Although it's an organic substance, so it's like you know, people you need. Said to the get... four-legged friend was totally fine, bro. The four-legged friends gotten into weed before, and that destabilizes four-legged friends. Dude. Like I'm talking, like because I was like, oh my god. Yeah. He was just pumped. <laughs> he was just pumped. And then it, but it, it was too pumped to where it was suspicious. To where it was like nine, usually nine o'clock, he's curled up ready to chill. Yeah. If I walked by him, it was full pounce, laying like kind of like, ah, and I was like, I'm going to take these guys for a walk. And I, t- I took him to a field for like an hour. Yeah. And just let him. I didn't know both of the four legged friends got it. Just one. Yes. Just one. At least I, I assume just one. Oh, yep, my other four legged friend, my other four legged friend's a little more finicky with what they eat. But this other four-legged friend will eat anything, and he got a taste of some fucking penis envies. Yeah. He, he ate some mushrooms. <laughs> dude, it was nothing to I mean, you got to think animals in the wild just munch shit all the time. Yeah. So, and there's also, there's a lot of, I've seen Planet Earth where they, uh, like, lizards and shit will, like, lick stuff that, may, they'll, like, tr- like bears will, yeah, like, yeah. trip out. They do it on purpose. I mean, maybe they don't know what they're doing. But it's not, you know, an altered state. Yeah. I don't know why people are so weird about dogs in altered states. <laughs> I don't know why, like, wives are such jerks about dogs in altered states. <laughs> like, it's an animal, dude. I wish wives would get over the fact that sometimes our four-legged well, friends our wives still want to see color. Dude, I mean, he was so <laughs> fuck. Like, I'd walk by him, and he would be laying there and just go, boom, play position. I'm like, dude, yeah, that- chill, man. Chill. And it was like, no chill. Oh, man. So I took him out to the field, and we just ran. We just ran around. It was actually a really fun time. It's awesome. Tired him out. Then I made a little fucking bed for him, and I was like, "Brother, go to bed." Yes. And he just pa- I slept. You it. I had to, bro. You, you guided him. I, I walked downstairs and was just like, "Fuck!" He's like, "What?" And I was like, uh, "Jackson ate my crackers." <laughs> <laughs> you, you, have, you have become Mr. Marsh from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> you really have like oh Jackson ate my crackers everything's fine <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> I was like shit fuck oh. <clears throat> yeah man that was uh I was trying to keep that to under the belt but the uh yeah he, that's alright it's, it's nothing he's, you can't get in it's an organic it's substance it's a fun story it's, it's a, that's totally false we're making it up of course jokes for the she's pod she's gonna buy that <laughs> <laughs> she knows she knows dot, she's a dot connector bro She's gonna be it's like, not hard to connect. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty clear what happened here. <laughs> we can get rid of that if you want to avoid that. No, man. Let it play. Yeah. It's good airtime. That's just going to be a fight in like a week. <sighs> Out of nowhere. I'd rather fight about that than whatever I don't know we'll fight about later. So it's yes. like, let me be prepared. Yeah. You, I'll yeah, build up true. some arguments. I'll build up a defense. You know. So, yeah, dude. I feel, uh, I feel good. 
Yeah, we are. This podcast isn't a good place, bro. Besides the fucking bullshit, dude. I forgot about that. You I forgot we got assailed by a cyber criminal. Yeah. A Is cyber that exactly fraud. what happened? It, dude, it has to be, man. Did you send that to our inside man at I, the I, YouTube? I, dude, I fucked up. I sent it, but I think I just sent it to you. Yeah, I think so, too. We have a strong case for copyright fraud. Someone's doing fraudulent claims against us, so we have a strong case. I think we got to get a lawyer, though. 